guys, it's Terry. Welcome back to my channel, Southern Yankee. I have a little bit of a new setup. It's in, the work is in progress. I got a new light, so it balances out. Um, it's actually dark out right now, uh, dark in the room, but I got a big, powerful light, so that should be helping. And I have more stuff coming tomorrow. This whole setup's gonna change. I have different backdrops. This backdrop, you might be able to see it right here. It's not quite long enough, um, and when I, it goes the other way, up, it goes vertical, but when I put it that way, it wasn't, it wasn't long enough this way, so um, I did order some new backdrops. They're coming. I have a desk that's coming, and this whole setup is going to flip when we get that done, but today what I wanted to do is I have my mix and match box, and I took it out of the big box that it came in because who needs to see the box but mix and match box is a um, clothing styling service and um, they have several stylists up there I believe mine is Anna if you want to request her you can if you use my referral link I will get five dollars credit towards clothing and they send you I've gotten anywhere from five to ten things but they send you in a box look at how beautiful it's really beautifully wrapped every single month. It comes like this. Now they have a couple different options for you. You can do one where you pay, I think with tax, it's like $104 or $105. And you get like between two and four items and everything in there is yours to keep and you're done. And that is a great buy, you know, once you've worked with a stylist who knows your style because you don't get to see what's coming. You don't know. It's a surprise. Um, usually it is a huge value because you might get four items and they're $200 worth of clothes and you paid 104 and it's yours to keep as long as you like everything. And then the one that I got is more the traditional box, just like, like a Stitch Fix box or some of the other ones or, you know, um, trunk club, things like that, where you pay, the styling fee is normally $25, but I have a code if you use try us 20 off, you can try your first box for just five bucks. And you get, um, you do not get a preview, but what you can do to ensure that you're getting styles you like is follow them on Facebook and follow Mix and Matchbox on Instagram. They always post new products up there on a regular basis and you can like items and you can actually comment like can you tell my stylist i really like this so um, a lot of times just keep aware that they are posting things that are coming not necessarily things they have in stock yet so but it does help when your stylist can see oh she likes that she might like this so you get better picks that way so you don't get a preview that is a way to let your stylist know and you also can let them know you really have sort of a intimate relationship with your stylist, you can talk to her. My stylist will text me or um, message, email me. She'll send me emails and one time she sent me a dress asking me if I liked it before she ordered it for me. Uh, for It was for Valentine's. I still wear that dress all the time. I love it. And um, returns are simple and easy too. Should be a return mailer in here. They changed. We have pink little envelopes now. So let's see. Let's take a look at our paperwork and get our, our stuff out of here. I don't have a desk or anything to hold things in front of me, so I am going to do my best to um, hold things. I do have a, a table over here. So yeah, you do have a mailer to mail back anything. And let me see who their mail is through, I forgot. It is through um, UPS Ground. So you have to take this um, over to you, over, drop it off at a UPS, but it is postage paid, so you don't have to pay for it. So that's really nice. And I do have one right near my house. Um, also, this is the only company that I know of that has a payment plan. You can set up a three month payment plan to pay for whatever you keep. So if you keep $300 worth of clothes, you can put it on the payment plan and you pay $100 a month until your clothing is paid off. So it's kind of like a layaway, but you get to keep the clothes first, which is nice before they're fully paid. Um, it says to do that, your purchase must equal $100 or more. You have to keep your credit card file up to date. If you charge you, if they charge you and your credit card declines, you'll get a $25 decline fee. So make sure it's not gonna decline. And then you get your paper and your note from your stylist with all of your prices and everything on it. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items in here. And 
Okay, so here we go. And she said this is um, an Anna. Like I said, Anna is my stylist and says, Hi, Terry, in this box, you should you have the denim jacket. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Um, a beautiful pink blue dress, not a maxi. Um, jeans you liked and some cute tops. I hope you love them. And this is called the Go For It Style Box. And she wrote down the following styles. Um, okay, so let's get into... Let's get into our items and we'll we'll I'll hold them up for you again. If you're tuning in late, here is the most beautiful package ever, and I have two bundles of clothes. I always save these ribbons too. I use them for birthday presents for packages, so um, I always appreciate getting them. They don't go wasted, they don't end up in my trash. So let's get into bundle number one and I'll hold everything up. For now, I'm going to throw the paper on the floor and pick it up when the video's over. Okay, so the first item looks like a top by Dear John. This is in a size small. Oh no, I'm getting the hiccups. Oh, I hope those don't last. This is in a beautiful dusty lavender color, um, kind of like um, a washed out kind of a color. And there it is. I don't know what's going on on the side. Is it a tie? Yes. So it's got a tie on the side and it looks like... Okay, so it's kind of split in the middle too. This will be... I'll have to show you this when we get it on to see the full effect of this. Um, and they usually have the prices right on here. So this one is $39. Okay. And... The second one is also that same sort of faded blue. This is just looks like a t-shirt, I think. So let's go on with this. Okay, this is by Mustard Seed, also a size small. And this is $36, and this is in a pretty blue. I'm a little confused about it. I don't know if you, oh, it's, so it's just got, it comes up shorter, it looks like. And it's got a crossover here. And then it's got like a faux tucked look and it's a high low. That's what was confusing me because I'm getting used to this light so I can see the shadow. And in the back it had a really, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but it had a, no, you can't see it, but it had a really weird shadow. So that's $36. So we'll try that on. That might be cute with like white jeans or something. This is by Gilly. This looks like it might be. Yep, this is a dress and it is in like a cream and navy and it is $48. I love Gilly dresses, I really do. She knows that. Um, this is a great travel one, I can already tell. I like the V-neck. It does not have like a, um, it's the material that won't wrinkle. I don't know what material it is, but it's not gonna wrinkle on me. And it comes down and then the bottom is a little bit of a high-low. So we'll, we'll try that on see how that goes then i got a pair of what i think are, are they trousers capri something they are by raven denim and they are 75 dollars. So these are a little pricey they're pretty beautiful color though um can you guys see that what size are they 28 we'll see how i'm doing because i'm not doing the best in the weight gain in loss area and they i've been going up and down in my weight so we'll see how these how these work, but they have, I don't like these side pockets. That is one thing that I don't like and because my hips, they bow out like that because I just have big hips. So I don't, right off the bat, I don't know if that is going to, what's going on with my hair? I don't know if that's going to work for me, but they, um, they do have pocket, um, they do, you can wear a belt with these, which is nice. And they come down and then they're cuffed at the bottom. And then the back has little, this one has a pocket. Does this one not? Oh, that's interesting. So it's a, one has a flap on the pocket and one doesn't. Is that a real pocket? Yes, it's a real pocket. So I'm not sure about these. We'll see how they fit. But what I do like about these is the color. I do really like the color. So we're going to check that out. Okay, we're ready to go into bundle two, which must have my jacket in it.
I guess she didn't have any maxis that would fit me. I was asking for some, oh, this is pretty, petite maxis. This is also by White Birch. This is only $25. This is pretty. So this is a off the shoulder floral top. Very beautiful colors. Really looks nice with my eye makeup today. Which you guys will see that tutorial, I'm guessing on Monday, we'll see. So that's only 25 bucks and I really like it. So that's beautiful. So we'll check that out. This is the jacket. This jacket is $98. It is by Liverpool, Los Angeles. It is a size medium and it is a beautiful coral and it's pretty heavy. Um, I can see this being a lot of fun in the spring or the fall. It's a little too hot to wear this right now, um, for sure, at least here in Virginia, but we'll look at it, we'll try it on, and we'll see, but it's a really cool, it's definitely like a denim jacket, it's just a different color. And then let me show you the back. So, I mean, really nice jacket. It's, it's heavier than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a light jacket. Um, Liverpool makes some beautiful jackets, but this is definitely a heavy jacket. All right, and then, oh, these are fun. Okay, so these are a pair of Unique Denim 02, um, and these must just come in a small, large, and medium, and these are a size large, and they're polka dotted, and I think I remember liking these on their Facebook page. That, I hope that fits. <laughs> um, and here we go. Look, they go all the way down. They're skinny jeans. And I'm going to come in close so you can see they are just kind of faded blue with little white polka dots on them. So those are cute. They look a little small even in a size large in the waist. So, um, and I got a big rear. I don't know if these are high waisted or they're low waisted or they're mid rise, but they, it, maybe they're smaller because they're a high rise. That's, you know, a possibility. It just doesn't really say on here, so I don't know. All right, guys, so that is everything that I got from my mix and match box for this month, for June. I don't know if that was, I don't remember if I got a May box or not. I don't know if I'm on every other month or if I'm, if I'm on every month right now. I got to check. So I'll be back in a little bit. We'll try everything on. I'm going to try everything on in the other room so you can see a full view. And yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in a bit, in a little bit. Okay, you guys are going to see a little bit of a choppy video for Mix and Match because somehow yesterday I forgot to try on two of the tops and didn't realize it and went to, I sealed the bag up and still had two tops and I was like, ah, and I didn't, re I, like for some reason I tried on five and I missed the two when I grabbed them off my table. So this is one of them that I missed and this is the, I might have to be opening that bag back up. Um, this is sort of a cross front, let me see if I can move you guys up a little bit and down. Um, this is a cross front, front top. It is kind of see-through and open here. Um, I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable that if I bend down, it may be a dangerous top, but it, I'm going to back up all the way so you can see, but it's, um, so it, it's nice. It comes down on the side here and this, you know, this right here, is my bra and so that is a little bit of a problem um, but you do got a, a tie here and I think you can tie it a little bit tighter yeah you can so maybe that's what you have to do I don't know that's cute it's a pretty like kind of t-shirty material like knit very comfortable this is going to be washable sort of got like a faded faded fabric look the back. Um, I kind of like this one. I think it's kind of cute, minus the bra, right? So, what do you guys think about this one? I think it's flattering. I think it makes me look nice and thin here, or it hides anything. So, this might be a keeper anyway. Um, all right, I got one more t shirt to try on from Mix and Match. Okay, this one is a little bit big. It's, um, I probably could have used a size small in this. It does have a crisscross. It's very, very loose and it's shorter a little bit. Um, it's just really, it's really, really baggy. Where I like the other one, how it cinched at the side, it was a little more form fitting and I thought that was a little bit more attractive on me. So um, this one I don't 
think I'm going to keep. It's comfortable. It's very soft. Um, the crisscross starts lower down here, so you don't have this part you got to worry about, which is nice. But I think it's just a little too big, and I'm not in love with it. So, however, I do think I'm going to keep that purple top. I like that purple top. I thought that was really pretty, and I don't have a lot in that color. So I think I'm going to keep that one. Um, and I think I'm sending everything else back this time. Just had some fit issues, and I just wasn't in love with it. And so I'm actually in the process of purging clothes. I don't think I need to keep so much stuff right now. So I am going to keep that purple one because I think that's beautiful. This, I'm going to have to open up the bag, <laughs> put it back in. Um, so I will see you guys all in the next video. Sorry this was so choppy. I don't know how I did that. I knew I had seven items and then I only tried on five. They were all stacked up and I grabbed, I grabbed when I grabbed it, I missed two of the items. So, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Good morning, everybody. So I have the mix and match top on. I have a lot to do today, so I'm trying to get this done. Um, I have my daughter's graduation party and I'm getting ready to get ready. I haven't gotten ready yet and go get the rest of the stuff that I have to pick up food wise. So I apologize for my parents. I'm just, this top already, I can tell you is a problem. It's very beautiful, but it's not going to stay up and it will aggravate me. I will be pulling it. I do have another top like this that I do wear, um, that it's tighter here and it seems to stay up. So I'm going to show you this and I do have on the little like plum kind of cargo pants with this, I'm gonna back up. Let's see what we can show you. So here's the top. You got, I'm gonna need to get a chair to show you the bottom pants. Yeah, hold on. Okay, let's try this again. So here's the little top, and it's cute. And then the pants that I have on, um, so you can see them this way. So they're kind of like little crop. They are a little bit tight. They're, I don't like the rise of them. They're kind of like a lower rise and they are quite tight in the back area. So um, these I know are going back. And I think originally when I first saw this top, I was thinking that I would keep this top, but it, I wonder what it looks like up. Okay, so that's what it looks like up. Um, and I think it looks a little, I don't, I don't like it. So this one I think is going to go back because it's just not one that's going to stay off the shoulders but I think the pattern's pretty I am going to keep it on while I try the other jeans the polka dot jeans which are really cute so um, hang tight I'll show you those but there's uh, sort of this look again I'm on the dog's bed all right I'll be right back with the other jeans okay I'm just going to give up on this because it's going to go up so we're going to leave this on the jeans, I like the pattern. I think the polka dots are adorable. I, however, am at an age where I think the rise of my jean really matters. It's cutting me like it's underneath my belly button and it's giving me a little bit of a muffin top. Probably won't be able to see it because this shirt is kind of flowy, but I don't like how it feels in the waist. I wish these jeans were higher and then like then they would be keepers for me. I think I just need a little bit of a higher waist at this point in my life. But they're cute, aren't they? Everywhere else they fit like a glove. They are actually really low back here. I don't know that you guys are gonna be able to see, but they're like really low. And if I bend over, I'm afraid I'll have like a little plumber's butt showing. So um, but here, here's a little bit more of the, so you can see up front, a little bit more of the jean. They're cute though. Um, I do like them. They're just a little too low rise, especially back here. I mean, if I bend over, my butt's going to come out. So um, you guys all know I got a good size caboose back there. It needs to be covered. All right, I am going to try on the little jacket. This jacket was a surprise. It's expensive. Um, it is a Liverpool jacket, and it's so heavy. Like, I was thinking this was like a really lightweight jacket. It's not. It's like a very thick, heavy jacket. I definitely, if I purchased this now, would not be able to wear this at all until um, probably it got cooler in like November. And then probably only could wear it like a month because then in December it's gonna be too cold. So I like the color of it, but with the weight of it, I don't think I'm gonna get much use out of this. So I think this is going to be a problem, but it's really beautiful. It feels really nice on. 
it feels really nice on. Here it is. Um, sleeves are okay. Nice buttons. It's not too tight. I could easily button it up if I wanted, but I would probably leave it open. Gosh, I really like it. I think it's so pretty. I just, I love the color of it. Um, for me, I don't think that this color will just be a passing trend. I think I would get a lot of use out of this color and I would wear it all the time. The problem is, um, I just don't know how often I would have the opportunity in my state to wear it because of how hot it is here. Oh goodness, I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see. What do you guys think about it? The pockets. Because looks like they're tacked. Yeah, they're like I don't know if they're functional pockets. They might be, but they they do have yeah, they are functional, but they're tacked, so I won't undo them. But they do have pockets. So what do you guys think about this? All right, the only other item that I have to try on is a dress, so hang tight. Okay, the dress is cute. Um, I would definitely need to wear some shapewear. It's kind of a little bit clingy in the middle on the belly, and right now I'm very bloated. Um, I, do, I think I mentioned I do have a little health issue going on, and it's causing a lot of bloating. So I would need to wear my shapewear with this, And uh, but otherwise it's got a flattering v-neck. It is a wrap style, um, but it's more of a... I mean, I think it's more of a faux wrap dress, which I like. So here it is. It does go just past the knees. It's very pretty, very, very kind of lightweight. This thing here is driving me nuts, this dog thing. I can't, I can't like move. So here we go. I'll have to play it back and see what it looks like on me, but um, it's it's a pretty little dress, but you can see I do need to have some shape work put on. So, all right, hang tight. I'll be back for a recap. All right, guys. Mila's visiting us. She says hello. She still can't. You can't touch her. I mean, you, she'll sit near you, but you can't. You can't hold her. She's quite wild still. All right. So, um, unfortunately, I don't think this box was a hit either. Um, no fault of Anna. She's a great stylist. Usually she sends me too much that I love. I do really like these, but the waist and the low back in the area, butt area, just isn't going to work for me. I'm too old to be showing butt crack, you know? I need a higher waist, so that's going back. This I had high hopes for. Oh, those jeans. How much were they? Um, okay, those were... Mustard seed denim, no, no, no. Polka dot skinny jeans, they were $55. So they were a really great value. Um, and then this off the shoulder top by White Birch and Medium, this is only $25. Again, a great value, but the they're gonna aggravate me because they won't stay off my shoulders. And I didn't really like how it looked on my shoulders. And also the colors sort of a little bit washed me out. I need brighter colors. Um, this is fantastic. This is the Liverpool jacket in coral, and this is $88. Um, I'm thinking about it, but I'm leaning towards no because I just don't think I'm going to get enough wear out of it. So um, it's just a lot heavier than I thought. These, um, they're in the color Orchid, these pants, and they are cropped trouser by Raven Denim. These are $75. These are a beautiful color for me. I really do like this color, but um, they were a little tight, again, in the behind area, and I didn't like the rise of these, so these are going back. I'm also not a huge fan of crops. I just don't, I don't know. I feel like since I'm short, they make me look shorter. So, and then the following thing is this dress. It says navy and light, light pink. I thought it was more of navy and cream to me, but it says light pink. Um, this is $48. I might keep this dress. I think this dress is pretty and it's very comfortable. I think this would be a nice little work dress for me. So I think I might keep this dress, but that is it. Now, if I kept all of the items in this box, I would get a 25% discount. So the total items in the box, which were seven, came to $366. That is a little bit pricey, 
but we had a pair of $75 jeans and a pair in an $88 jacket in there. So that's kind of what drove the price up. Um, and then if you keep all five, seven, all seven in here, you only have to keep five to get the discount. But if I kept everything that would take $91.50 off, that brings the total to $274.50. I'm not, obviously, I'm sending most of it back, but if I just keep this dress, it will be $48, okay? Um, so that's not too bad for the dress. I think that's a decent price for a nice dress for work. So I think that is what my plan is, is just to keep this dress this time. Um, that way it doesn't break my bank either. So um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And um, I gotta get this back today. So unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to see your comments or anything before I have to send it back, but um, I'm a little bit late getting it up. They extended it for me because just so much is going on. Um, in fact, today is the today is the party and I am about to get dressed, put my makeup on, run to the store, pick up everything I need, come back here, get dressed for the graduation party, go to the graduation party, set it up, and then try to relax. <laughs> so um, I'll see you guys all in the next video. I hope you like these kind of videos. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Please comment below your thoughts and I'll see you all soon.